Hey guys, before we get into the season finale of Minecraft School, do not forget to slap that like button. Now you guys, if you want more Minecraft School and you want another season of Minecraft School, make sure you slap that like button. We're going to set the like goal on this season to 15,000 likes. If we can reach 15,000 likes, guys, I'll do another season of Minecraft School for you guys. Continuing the story, it's going to get really crazy, so make sure you show this like that like button some love, show the series some support, and now enjoy the episode. <sighs> Aviator. What's this all about? What's what about? I just got a call from your principal. He wants to see you in his office this morning. He said you broke into the hockey stadium last night? That's not true! It wasn't even locked! Oh my god, so it's true! You know you could get suspended for this! Or even worse, expelled! But mom, I, I can explain! I don't want to hear it. Ever since we left Sunnyside, it seems you're always out doing something. Now I guess I know what you've been up to. No, no, it's all a big misunderstanding. I just want my son back. He was a good kid. I don't even know who you are anymore. Mom! Just go to school. You don't want to be late. <sighs> wow, the principal called my mom. This can't be good. This has to be really serious. I have a feeling I'm not just getting suspended. I have a feeling this could be my last day at this school. What am I gonna do? What about Tessa? What about Bree? She lives nearby. What about Jerry? All the friends I made. Well, maybe it's not as bad as I think. Maybe he's gonna let me off. Uh, maybe everything will be fine. Maybe I'm just overreacting. It'll probably be like a one day suspension. Cause he'll let me explain my side at least. And I can tell him that it was all just one giant misunderstanding caused by Mary. And then maybe if I explain that, he'll allow me to walk free and continue going to school here. Yeah, that's probably how it's gonna go. I just can't believe it's all because of Mary that I'm in this predicament in the first place. She's been ruining my life ever since I got to this school. Now my mom even thinks I'm not a good kid when I am, literally, I, I try to do good for everyone. <sighs> I'll admit I let the power of being president get to my head for like a minute, but that's... That's nothing to, like, scoff at. Oh, there it is. Administration. The principal's office. <sighs> Deep breath, Aviator. You can do this. I just gotta explain my side of the story and explain why it was Mary's fault and not mine. And then hopefully he lets me off easy. I know I was in a restricted area, but I had no idea. Mary's the one that probably broke into it. The door was already unlocked. <sighs> okay, let's do this. So I think you know why I called you into my office today, don't you? Yes. Why would you break into the hockey stadium, Aviator? I can explain, sir. It was all Mary's fault. <sighs> Not more of this. Why are you two always fighting with each other? She has been blackmailing me this whole time with lies. She made me give up my presidency, and I think she is the one that tricked me into going into the stadium. I don't want to hear another word about this today. You two are kids. You should just get along and live your lives. But sir... No, not another word, Aviator. I think I have, well, a way to fix this problem. Yeah, get rid of Mary. Sorry, Aviator, but Mary has been a student here far longer than you. Plus her parents, well, they donate generously to our school district. So, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be forced to transfer you to one of our sister schools. Wait, transfer me? You can't do that. I did nothing wrong. It was all Mary. Think of it in a positive way. Now, at least you'll be free of Mary. Sir, please. I'm sorry, Aviator, but my decision is final. Starting tomorrow, you will no longer be a student at this high school. Oh my God, I can't believe it. The absolute worst happened to me. I'm not only getting expelled, but he's transferring me to a completely different school in a completely another city. I'm going to miss Tessa. I'm not going to ever see Jerry again. And Bree. There's never going to be a chance that we're ever going to talk again. For all I know, they could be moving me all the way across the country. What if my mom gets so mad she sends me to military school? Oh no. I'll never see any of my friends again. It's all Mary's fault. It's all Mary's fault. But I did let myself get caught up in it. So I guess it's partly my fault too. 
This sucks. This is my last day. Aviator, there you are. Why didn't you show up last night? Oh, I knew it. I knew it was Mary. What are you talking about? I went to the library to meet you last night. But there was a note saying to meet you at the hockey stadium. Now I know for sure it was Mary. Oh my god, how crazy is this girl? Well, I'm not gonna be around to find out. What do you mean? I got caught at the stadium by a guard, and I found out I couldn't be there. Now I'm being transferred from this school to another one. Wait, what? You're going to a new school? They're forcing me to. I have no choice. I can't believe this. Will we ever see each other again? I honestly don't have any idea. This is such BS. I know. Just let it go, though. Live your days here and try to be happy. Maybe our paths will cross again in the future. I'm going to miss you. There has to be a way to fight this. I'm done fighting. My mom already thinks less of me. And I'm... I'm just done. But... I'll see you around, Tessa. T take care of yourself. <sighs> Goodbye, high school. <sighs> I hate to say it, but I'm actually going to miss you. Even though I had to deal with Mary on the regular, I actually enjoyed this school. I don't know what the future holds for me, but I guess we're about to find out. Oh no, there's Jerry. I don't even know if I can tell him. Hey man, how about a party at my house this weekend to get your mind off all this Mary stuff? T uh... Come on man, then next week maybe we can pull a prank on her in class. <laughs> Okay, sure, Jerry. I'll, I'll see you this weekend, man. Awesome, bro. I look forward to it. I didn't have the heart to tell him that I'd never see him again. It hurt enough telling Tessa. That's more pain than I can handle. Sorry, Jerry. I won't be making your party. Hey guys, I'm in this brand new comedy series where I work in an office place with a whole bunch of my friends. It's hilarious. If you want to go check it out, the link is down below in the description box. Please go show it some love, Lemonheads. It would mean the world to me because we work so hard on this. So go check it out and show it some Lemonhead love.